Vancouver, Point Grey. Honourable, Honourable. Honourable Speaker, yesterday the Minister of Justice gave this House new information about the concerning case of Raymond Salmon, who drowned in Harrison Lake and whose body has not been recovered. The Minister told this House that Raymond's case was, quote, in the hands of the coroner, unquote. Well, Daniela Salmon, Raymond's widow, called the coroner's office first thing this morning. The receptionist told her there's no entry for Raymond Salmon in the coroner's database, and an analyst with the office told her the coroner is not investigating Raymond's case and that the coroner's office is not involved in her husband's case at all, period. Will the Minister of Justice clarify her remarks, acknowledge that no agency is helping this family, and commit to find a way to helping families recover their loved ones lost in BC's waters? Minister of Justice. Thank you, Madam Speaker. There have been, as I said yesterday, a number of very unfortunate drowning cases in British Columbia this year. And once again, I would like to caution people, particularly those not familiar with what BC waters, that they need to wear life jackets. They need to know where they're swimming and where they're boating. Uh, quite a number of drownings, and a number of them are in the hands of the coroner, um, uh, uh, Madam Speaker, not all but some. The, these are terrible cases. They're very hard on the uh, families involved, obviously, and, and I think our hearts go out to all of the families who have lost loved ones, and certainly our condolences to those families. It's a terrible thing to lose a family member, and it, I think it, it, somehow it seems worse when you're on holiday and it should be a happy time and you have this terrible thing happening. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the RCMP because I think most of these jurisdictions, it is RCMP who are performing these rescues and looking for these bodies. They are putting their own lives at risk and they are putting their own families at risk. They go above and beyond to try and help these family, re families recover these bodies and there have been a number of successful uh, fines of these missing bodies over the course of this summer, including going back again and again and waiting till the waters go down and waiting till waters are safe to go back and recover these bodies. They have been making efforts in Harrison Lake on the case that the member opposite is referring to and they are making efforts around the province. I don't question the operational de uh, decisions of the RCMP. They make those decisions as to when to search. They make the decisions as to when to call off the search and I think we should all thank them for that. Thank you. Vancouver. Vancouver Point Grey. Uh, Honourable Speaker, I'm sure the member uh, didn't mean to be insulting to the Salmon family, but Mr. Salmon, the RCMP believes, was injured on land and tried to swim to safety. This is not a water safety issue, and this is also not a partisan issue. Accurate sonar technology now exists to locate the bodies of loved ones deep in BC's waters, technology that did not exist before. BC Coroner Service spokesperson Barb McClintock told the Prince George Citizen that the Coroner Service believes the underwater sonar technology, quote, would be something the province could really use, unquote. She said, quote, on those few occasions we need it, it would be greatly appreciated help, unquote. Tragically, as the member noted, we've needed this technology for five cases already this summer. Can the minister please commit to working with the RCMP and the coroner's office to obtain access to this technology to find these British Columbia citizens and put their families' minds at rest. Please, Minister. Thank you. Minister of Justice. Matt. Speaker, it is clearly not a partisan issue, and I am offended that the member opposite would suggest that. Everybody in this House feels for these families. Everyone in this House feels for the, the victims and for their families. And it is a, it, it's highly, you know, the member opposite could have easily come to ask the question. It is made, being made a partisan issue in this House. This, these are sad circumstances. The RCMP are always willing to consider extra methods and extra ways they can improve themselves. They are, like, like many of, like most of us, I think, they're always self-critical, self-looking, self-wondering what they can do. But they do a terrific job helping, helping victims, putting their own lives at risk, putting their own families at risk. I compliment them for what they have done this summer. I'm very, very sorry for the families, and I, 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 I'm, I, I know that the RCMP are always open to looking at new things, and I am, I, they will be doing that in this case. And I, I just, I, the thought that this is a partisan issue, it is being raised by the member opposite as a partisan issue, and that's highly offensive. Thank you.